हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू एज यू नो दैट वी आर स्टडिंग आर टेक्सट बुक इन इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास नाइन बी हाई यू एंड वी आर डन विद यूनिट नंबर थ्री द टेक्सट द लिटिल गर्ल एंड आई एम श्योर दैट यू मस्ट हैव कम्प्लीटेड योर राइटिंग इन योर नोटबुक द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एंड ऑल्सो द पार्ट अंडर थिंकिंग अबाउट द टेक्सट and speaking and also writing today uh, we are going to start the next part of this unit number 3 the poem rain on the roof so interesting na it must be raining around and here the poem that we are also studying is rain on the roof what do you understand from the title rain on the roof that there is raining somewhere and the rain drops are falling on roof then how do you feel when it rains and you are at home you know relaxed having a cup of tea you know differently in a various way you must be spending your time and especially during this covid-19 crisis lockdown we are all at home you might have uh, you know been Uh, making some records of your daily routine like diary you studied you know in class 8 monsoon diary if you remember isn't it so there the author has given his account you know being an adult he uh, wrote some the things that we could never think of but in a better way you have also been uh, you know maintaining your diary keeping that record and uh, it may help you in future just to see what happened in this crisis of covid-19 dear students uh, there was a crisis that time when anne frank you know the book the diary of a young girl in which she has given the account of those days when you might be studying in class 9 nazism the rise of hitler in germany that time that girl a young girl she has maintained and kept that record how they were being suffered those days and today you are keeping your record in your diary that how you are feeling and how you are being suffered through this circumstances during lockdown keeping in mind the crisis of covid-19 so you know with the reference to the diary the lesson from class 8 monsoon diary and here the poem that we are studying rain on the roof let's see what the poet quite skinny wants to convey and what his experience he shares with us so be ready and listen to me carefully and put your queries if any in the live chat box and if you are playing this video later you may put your doubts queries in the comments box at the bottom of the video so when the sky is covered with dark clouds and it starts raining have you ever listened to the patter of soft rain on the roof yes we are all hearing even if our building nowadays are concrete rcc there are no roof yes there are but these are very strong that we can't hear the patter of soft rain on the roof peter patter that sound by the rain drops but when we are out you know just at the window or at the door from where we can see that it's raining you please do listen to that sound do listen to the patter of soft rain drop on the roof or anywhere it gives you pleasure i'm sure you all have such experiences with you all do share here with me as well the way i know i have now started with the poem you can think and create that picture in your mind or can also experience at present if it is raining outside so what thoughts flash through your mind as you heard this melody of nature you know chirping of the birds 
the blowing of the wind you know it creates sound and it's very natural and it gives us a lot of pleasure that we can't get by paying money and uh, you know the thoughts that come to our mind when we are so relaxed and in a natural surrounding listening and hearing to such a sound you know it gives us a lot of pleasure and good thoughts and here the poet you know is trying to put his thoughts by weaving these words together in the forms of stanzas and has composed a poem rain on the roof poet is skinny so read the poem to find out what the poet dreamed of while listening to the rain okay and compare your dream while you are uh, you know witnessing the nature when it is raining with the dream that the poet has seen let's start with the first stanza there are three stanzas dear students in this poem so do mention your uh, experience yes also here i would also like to know and uh, there are many students who will be knowing your experiences right so let's see the dream of the poet when he is just hearing the peter patter sound of the soft rain on the roof when the humid shadows hover its dark clouds are gathering in the sky you can observe in the sky the dark clouds over all the starry spheres and you know there are stars you know above the clouds but during daytime you can't see it because the sun rays now are brighter than the light released from the stars and that way so dark clouds of different shapes gathered in the sky and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears and you know here the poet says that it is so sad isn't it the darkness refers to the sadness the same way when there are dark clouds in the sky the sun rays are not able to come on the earth there is darkness all over and that darkness here the poet refers as melancholy darkness you know we feel bored tired you know no sun rays isn't it i'm sure you might also experience the same way and so here the uh, poet says that it starts weeping gently weeps in rainy tears and those clouds gathered being very melancholy means sad they started weeping and the tears are rolling down now from those clouds and they have been referred as those tears but it is nothing but rain it's raining it started raining what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead and the poet says when such a climate is there such an atmosphere is there surrounding is like that you know how happy moment these are that we are on our bed keeping you know the pillow on our chest and we are lying on it of a cottage chamber bed and the bed is also there so relax the poet is and he experiences two contrasting things are there he says that the clouds are tearing they are sad and that melancholy sadness the darkness now he says gently weeps in rainy tears that is the description outside but what about himself that time he is lying on bed with the pillow he has and pressing it and the bed is of a cottage chamber and he says that and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead and he says that it is extremely blissful very happy moment for him that it is raining outside and he is on the bed keeping a pillow with him and listening to the peter patter sound of the rain drops the soft drops that are falling on the roof and he is very happy to listen to the sound the patter sound of the rain drops over here the rain falling on the roof so 
what do you understand dear students from this sometime we can say that our happiness lies in somebody's sadness is it so but it should not be our happiness should always lies in others well being you know in our pledge we always say na my happiness lies in their well being or welfare so the same way here this is just an experience that the poet says when it rains outside your experiences may be different you may sometime not like when it is raining for longer days longer period but the first time when it rains after the summer ends it really gives us tremendous pleasure and the smell of the soil that we have is also a good experience for all of us and in this poem in the first stanza the poet has introduced his being in the bedroom and it's raining outside and there is a roof making a melodious sound because of fall of soft raindrops on it and the sound mentioned is patter second stanza every tinkle on the singles means every raindrop that is falling on the single means roof has an echo in the heart you know every time a raindrop falls especially those hell storm me or hell stones when they are falling it makes a tremendous noise but here the poet says that every tinkle on the singles has an echo in the heart and the moment the raindrop falls it gives me pleasure there is a pleasure in my heart and i am very happy to hear it to listen to it and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and i then start of thinking of many things many dreams start coming to my mind it happens sometimes you know when we are listening to the song that time we forget ourselves and dream of something else like kezia had a nightmare whenever she was sleeping but when we are listening to our favorite song music you know we forget ourselves where we are what we are were doing and we just go on thinking about something in the context of the music or the song the same way here the poet says that he also forgets where he is he told that he was in bedroom and was lying on bed and was listening to that peter uh, patter sound of soft raindrops on the roof and he was very happy because we know he says what a bliss he says na that says that he was very happy and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and you know in his mind there comes thousands of dreams fancy dreams his imagination starts and a thousand recollections and this is not just dreaming of future we dream of future especially and there are also some recollections in the past whatever happened in his life here he remembers in his past life and what was it view their air threads into oof as i listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof and you know he says that when it rains every rain drops brings me pleasure happiness and it also brings some past memories recollections and also it helps him thinking of future because when we are happy here i remember now the rhythm if you are happy and you know clap your hands if you are happy and you know tap your feet so it also gives us pleasure na because when you are outside i am sure you must be remembering this in your childhood how you were doing when you are happy and you know clap your hands when you are happy and you know tap your feet if you remember this rhythm and it gives you pleasure your past memories but when it happens when we are forgetting ourselves and when it, when it happened with the poet whenever it is raining and when he listens to that patter sound of the raindrops on the roof and those memories all together the past memories recollections the dreams of future 
all of them are coming together and that happiness comes to him when he listens to the patters of the rain upon the roof that's what the poet says in stanza number two so in stanza number one he explained that he was in bedroom when it started raining and he calls those raindrops as the tears coming from those humid shadows clouds in the sky in second stanza after hearing to that sound he remembers the past memories the recollections and also dreams of some fantasies fancy dreams we can say now he is coming to the point and it's sharing what is that recollection that he has he says now in memory comes my mother and there he remembers now in my memory comes my mother means either his mother is no more or she must be away from him as she used in years ago on as she used in years ago on means she is no more and he remembers his mother how loving how caring she was for him yes it happens dear students you know our body posture or the circumstances also helps us remember the past memories for example if it is raining now and i am teaching you sitting here and some day in future if the same circumstances same posture of my body is there i will definitely be reminded of this moment it's quite natural our body is so adaptable to such things and you know if you just plan to think that you will get up at 3 am in the morning but it should be a determination strong will power definitely dear students without alarm you will get up our body is so helpful and adapting to the things now the third stanza there he has mentioned that he remembers his mother who was so loving caring looking after him all the time she comes in his mind that some years passed what was she doing and what she said to him let's see to regard the darling dreamers here she left them till the dawn and you know here he remembers her and she says that he was very darling dreamer means here he calls himself darling and uh, because his mother might have addressed him my darling child here that way oh, means beloved one the ones whom we love they are or can be called as darling and so the poet says to regard the darling dreamers here she left them till the dawn and you know it must be evening time that time it started raining and now or maybe in the morning he gets up and remembers those all dreams that he had for his mother and they are still there with him till the dawn dawn time means when the sun is about to rise dusk and dawn dusk means evening time dawn time means the time before 2 or 3 hours the sun rises oh i feel her fond look on me and there he still remembers the way she was looking at him his mother and that feeling is there on his face as i listen to this refrain and whenever he is listening listen means listen here to the refrain means that rhythm and whenever he is uh, you know listening to this patter sound of the raindrop falling on the roof he remembers those days when he was with his mother and the mother used to look after him very well and he was that time the darling dreamer which is played upon the singles by the patter of the rain and there he says that it's again raining and that sound the patter sound made by the raindrops the soft raindrops falling on the roof on the singles it gives me tremendous pleasure because i remember my past memories i forget myself and dream of my future and of course above all it gives me a lot of pleasure that's what here the poet says there are some words given on page number 42 dear students glossary tinkle 
means short light ringing sound you know in stanza number one we came across it no second stanza first line second word tinkle singles again from second stanza first line last word means rectangular wooden tight tiles used on roofs you know on the roof those rectangular tiles are put now they are called singles oof here webbed means the threads woven across the loom that is called oof here e r e it is a old poetic word for before we came across this word there in the last stanza fourth line to regard the darling dreamers before she left them till the dawn and you know before his mother leave him till the dawn means it is just about that the sun is going to rise means his future is going to be bright and that time his mother passes away she is no more and remembering her he addresses her that it is her contribution that she has helped me a lot in order to achieve something in my life and we remember these people only those who have been good with us all the time refrain a repeated part of a song or a poem here the sound of the rain and here you know that sound patter sound of the soft rain drops falling on the roof or the singles that sound has been refrained list old poetic word for listen now thinking about the poem first main question in that another sub question what do the following phrases mean to you discuss in class so humid shadows what are humid shadows what do you understand from this humid shadows they are clouds gathered in the sky the dark clouds like huge mountains in the sky so they are referred as humid shadows second starry spheres starry spheres what do you understand from starry spheres that the stars in the sky in number of thousands making some shapes you know you have studied in geography saptarshi they are called there are some another word in english you know seven stars coming together or four stars coming together you can observe uh, especially in the east direction around 8 pm or 9 pm at night so those have been referred here as starry spheres what a bliss what a bliss refers to his happiness when he listens to the patter sound of rain drops falling on the roof a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and you know a thousand of dreams thousand of rem uh, memories in his life in the past they are now all there in his mind he remembers one after another the incidents he remembers and they have been referred as a thousand dreamy fancies into busy start busy being start means he is now very busy in thinking of all of these past memories a thousand recollections weave their air threads into oof and you know first one dreams means future things that he is planning now from third stanza we understood now that it was a dawn time means he is going to be somewhere successful in his life and that moment he remembers his mother that he wishes that she should have been there because she is no more and now he is thinking that he will have everything but not his mother the students our parents are always with us in whatever circumstances we are in to help us their life has always been for us only and so in marathi if you remember it is said swami tini jagacha hai vina bhikari and the same way the poet also feels that his mother is not with him at the time when he is achieving something in his life and so he remembers her and that memories the dreams has been referred is an answer of number 4 now 5 is a thousand recollections with their air threads into means these are past memories in his life 
he remembers how she used to sing a lullaby for him or some songs or how uh, she was cooking some delicious and uh, lovely food for him that he was liking much his favorite dishes many more no references but you can add your own points number 2 what does the poet like to do when it rains we know that he likes to lie on bed pressing the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead first stanza is an answer third what is the single major memory that comes to the poet single major memory that comes to the poet is about his mother he misses her a lot he remembers her who are the darling dreamers he refers to he refers to the darling dreamers all of you those who dream and you know what dr kalam says low aim is crime not the failure and dream 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 dreams transform into your thoughts thoughts come to you in your actions and action makes the people successful so dream is important no and what is actually the dream real dream is not just what we see while we are sleeping but the dream is what doesn't let you sleep not in sleep but which doesn't let you sleep and here the poet refers to us those who dream to achieve something in our life to do something in our life and our honorable prime minister used to say that he never dreamed of being something but he always dreamed of doing something that's what he has been doing for our country number 4 is the poet now a child is his mother still alive no neither the poet is a child now nor his mother is alive number 2 major question when you were a young child did your mother tuck you in as the poet did yes of course everybody's mother tuck you in text together you know closer nearer on her lap you know feeds you cares you loves you looks after you all the time if you are good or ill she is never bothered but the mother loves the children very much and she is of course your first teacher in this world second do you like rain what do you do when it rains steady or heavily described in the poem so these are all open ended answers your answers may vary from one to another but it should be the honest answer that you are putting here who doesn't like rain everybody likes unless it is for 10 days continuously what do you do when it rains steadily or heavily when it rains common you know steadily just for some time it rains heavily that we prefer than it rains steadily for two days without sun rays sunlight for us okay these are my opinion you can put your own third question the last one from this poem does everybody have a cozy bed to lie in when it rains like the poet says you know here the poet has tried to contrast two things happiness with sadness at the time we are happy i told you that somebody is not happy at the time we are having our food there is someone in the world who does not have food to eat the same way here the poet says that the poet has a cozy bed to lie in but are the all the people all over all over world are having cozy beds no some may not have even shelters and they are getting wet what about animals that is the another part of this question look around you and describe how different kinds of people or animals spend time six shelter etc during rain okay so you can do this and here one good thought is there as i told you swami tini jagasa som ai vinabikari that's what abraham lincoln used to say all that i am or ever hope it be i owe to my angel mother and he also gives the credit to his mother for being you know the president of usa america and uh, all the people those who have been great in in their lives 
some of the other people parents are always there and mother plays a vital role in that and so here abraham lincoln says all that i am or ever hope it be i owe to my angel mother all right dear students so that's it for today i will also share with you the answers of these questions in pdf form in reply to this link of youtube video thank you so much dear students have a great day ahead stay home stay safe take care of yourself as well as your parents bye